This video is going to show you how to configure your Cradle Point R1900 router for the first time or from factory default settings. This will mainly be for failover use with a cellular and ethernet connection. Connect to your R1900 router with an ethernet cable or via Wi-Fi. The default Wi-Fi name will start with R1900 and use the password from the bottom of the router. Open a web browser to the administration page at 192.168.0.1. Log in using the default username of admin, followed by the unique password from the bottom of the router. Once you're logged in, we need to change the default administrator password. Navigate to the System tab on the left side menu. Select Administration, then Router Security. Note the password minimum length here, which is currently 7 characters. Check the box beside Admin and click the Edit button above. Enter the password, then enter it once more. Click Save when you're done, then click OK. To check the router's system time, click System Clock on the left, which is also under Administration. If needed, adjust the time zone accordingly. You may also change the network time protocol settings at this page. Click Save when done, then OK. Next, we'll go into Wi-Fi settings so we can change the name and or the password. Click on Networking on the left, then Local Networks and Wi-Fi Radio, either 2.4 or 5 GHz. We'll start with Wi-Fi Radio number 1. Check the box beside the default Wi-Fi name and click Edit. In the window that opens, you may adjust any settings, including the name or security mode, but we're just going to change the password at this time. Click Save when you're done, then OK. We're going to go ahead and repeat this process for the 5 GHz radio. Now that our local connection settings have been updated, let's check our internet connection. I currently have a Verizon SIM card inserted. We'll also be connecting an Ethernet WAN later. Navigate to the Connection Manager page from the left. Find the cellular connection, and it should indicate whether it is connected. It appears to be, but should yours fail, it's possible you need to manually enter the APN or access point name for the SIM. This comes from the cellular carrier in case you need to confirm what it is. Start by selecting the cellular connection, then click the edit button at the top. In the window that opens, click on SIM slash AP and slash auth. Set the AP and slash DNN to default override. Then enter your APN in the field below. APN type can be left as modem default. Click save when done, then click OK. At this time, it's normal for the modem connection to disappear while it resets its configuration. Give it a minute or two to refresh. Once your cellular has connected, we can set up a verification setting. This will verify whether the connection is active or not and aids in the failover and failback process. Note that this will use a minimal amount of data on your connection. Find the settings icon below the WAN Verify column and it will open the configuration window. WAN Verify should be selected on the left. Check the box to enable the stability check. For the monitor IPv4 while connected setting, we recommend using the active ping method. Enter a ping address. We're using Google's DNS server. You may also adjust the timing of this stability time, check and retry intervals, as well as the retry count. Data usage settings can be configured if your cellular connection is metered. We're going to configure that while we're here. If you don't require these settings, simply click Save to continue. Click on Data Usage from the left and select Monthly, Weekly, or Daily. We're going to use Monthly. Check the box to enable the usage monitor. Set the date which the data cycle starts in the month. Set a usage cap. If you're using load balancing, check this box. The next options control how the router should behave when the usage cap is reached. It can disconnect and require a manual reconnect to get back online. You can set an alert to warn you when it has reached the cap. You can also set custom alerts so you can be notified when you reach 90% of the total cap, for example. Click Save when you're done. You will then need to confirm you want to enable the data usage tracker and agree that you understand Cradle Point cannot guarantee these values will match what the service provider shows. Click Yes, followed by OK. Now if we click on the Data Usage tab under the WAN management here, we can verify it is indeed enabled. Finally, we'll connect our Ethernet WAN. Since this is in priority one by default, it should automatically connect and in doing so, disconnect the cellular. If you use a static IP connection, you may select the Ethernet WAN, edit it, and enter in the static settings. Otherwise, this should be a plug-and-play setup. Let's give it a few moments to see if it will establish. There we go. 
and now if we give it another moment, the cellular will disconnect. At this time, you may also edit the WAN Verify settings on the Ethernet connection, which is going to be the same configuration as what we did on the cellular connection. Remember to save your settings when complete. That sums up our configuration from factory default settings on the Cradle Point R1900. We hope you enjoyed this video and welcome you to subscribe for similar content. Thank you.